Hello viewers, you're welcome to MTV. This is where we dico too much, dissect and digest every trending issues across Ghana, Africa, and the world at large. And today we have some couple of topics that we want to discuss. Come join us and we drive you to. Yeah. You also. We are live. Mm. <laughs> Back in the studio. <laughs> yeah. Hey, today you may do fresh. Uh, yeah, yes. mm. As usual. Mm. Really every day. Listen, everything we will talk some. Yeah. We are back in the studio. We see. 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 Welcome, <laughs> guys. Welcome back to our studio. As usual, this is going to be fun filled <laughs> conversation. You understand? Yeah, so let's move. Come, let's have fun. Yeah, let's have fun. Let's have let's fun it's all about fun. Uh, it's all about fun. Exactly, exactly, exactly. No malice. Yeah. Uh, no malice at all. Uh, it's a fun place. <laughs> yeah, it's fun filled. Fun filled mm. channel. You get it. Ah, no malice at all. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yes. Okay. Ah. Yes. Uh. Blush, are you going to take the uh, meat here? What? Yes. Blackpool to the world. Blackpool, yes. yes. Blackpool to the world. Yes. So, yeah. You see. You know, they just ended the BET award. International Food Press International Academy. That's that's very That's very good. Because looking at Black Oak, this guy has, since the guy surfaced in the music industry, the guy has been giving us back to back hits. The guy is on fire. The guy is on fire. And personally, I think. You know, with his energy, with the energy the guy gets right now, he's in that position to take Ghana Guba, which he's doing. That's true. Yeah, and he deserves the help. Ah, <laughs> you see, this guy has given us back to back. This same year, if you check in track records, you see the awards the guy has been this year, go win. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Where grandpa? Ah, let me on fire. Where grandpa no fee? <laughs> grandpa Shata. He did he hear me. Oh, Shata, right now you get some new girlfriend. So, in hey. my old day, in my old day, Sharif, in my old day, on your own case. Grandpa Shata, you take the way, eh? Your kiddie. <laughs> black, yes. black Sharif says, go be your, you keep your kiddie. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, shut up with the bullshit. You know. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Right now, you go get some new girlfriend. You chop love. Eh? Right now, love catch up. <laughs> Can love catch up. Yeah. Right now, the money chop love be good. So, the man who dey on uh, this guy, I was for now. Mm. So if you chop the love finish, maybe. From there, the man will come back to me. <laughs> These are all stuffs. Because right now, the man will be on the out. Yeah, in the chocolate book. The grandpa will be here. Right now, the sheriff will be on fire. Mm. Yeah, yeah, the guy, 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 the with his style, then he flew. You, you realize that's not the energy is massive. Yeah, yeah. The guy, you know, so he just be rally behind him. Then hope that Charlie, more international awards will come, will project Ghana into 
you know, the limelight. Yes, of yeah. of late, when you come to Africa, it's, it's all about the Nigerians. Yeah, Nigerians, 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 Nigerians and and yeah, they are taking over the African music industry. You see, with them, they with them, we ride on, you know, yeah. small, small. Yeah. You get it? So if our own black Kofi go make name, then you know, they will say, yeah, right now, Ghana too. We do on fire smaller. Charlie. For, for, for congratulate the guy. There's a place called Ghana. Yeah, there's a place called Ghana with yeah. Charlie. Music, music day. Good music. A place called Ghana. Yeah. Good music. So Sheriff is, is doing well. And then uh, so far, all the awards. He deserves all the awards. That guy has, has, has been on fire since. That's been on fire. Releasing back to back hits. Charlie, all you see the album he dropped, see the way the album make waves and all time. The guy is doing well. Well, uh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um. Anyway, something we the uh, grandpa and the rest couldn't uh, take us there. Let's uh, then let's rally behind the, the black hole so that go far. They go far. They've been looking at BET awards. How many Ghanaian artists they get nomination of it? How many Ghanaian artists? You mean the ones where they get nominations? Few. So far, how many Ghanaian artists who go few mentions they then they get serious nominations? Some of them are they tell custom boy has gotten some nominations. They mean some of them first nomination, then award, they win and things. They mean they say there was a little back backstage. Then you see along you see backstage. Backstage. BT Awards, yeah. but this is a, 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 a young lad who just came into the industry about three years ago. When you go win award, you're not good backstage. You see, and everybody, you know, the whole world is talking about the guy. You get it? So the guy is, is going for it. That's the tendency. That's the tendency. Because things that even the OGs for the system, they okay. struggle to do, or they struggle, they, they, the position they struggle to get to, that the position the guy they, they, they enter right now. The guy is moving into space. Charlie? <laughs> maybe, uh, uh, maybe, maybe, grandpa way are the, uh, the top sense to me. <laughs> uh, grandpa Shatter. Hey, you hear me? Right, uh, tell over boy. You didn't hear me? Tell over boy. Grandpa Shatter, you didn't hear me? Shatter, what you want tell over boy? He is a new girlfriend, Charlie. You see them, uh, they can't storm social media with yeah. them, uh, pictures and things as they go to the Ghana UK awards. Just it's not be easy. People, they go to the beat. Where you did it, they food say they chop it off. You be grandpa. You uh, be this way, uh, get this for learn from you. <laughs> and, and grandpa shut up. So, when you plus me, me too. And they can make a talk small sense. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you plus me, you break up. You go carry some, I don't know, where some ghetto girl be. <laughs> Can't display for social media. You know, reach one week. <laughs> eh? When you come, they cry. Eh? <laughs> when you come, they cry, man, 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 man. <laughs> no wonder you, you sang this song, pam, pam, pam. No wonder. You can't be fool for social media. We you cool your heart down. We the kiss dive. You know, Jebia, when you sang, go carry another one. They will display for social media. So if your people will follow you, they fool this time. What advice will you they give them? What advice will you give them? Grandpa Shatter. <laughs> huh? uh, now we they believe the you say we take us go grab. Yeah, so Charlie, now we see we see the future in him, say. Grammy the Shatawal in all with this program. But right now, it is follow our hand. You see, it follow our hand. Right now, it will be the the young ones we can take out the mantle. Mm. Sheriff, Sheriff, they do well. right now. Right now, they see say Sheriff will take people the grant. Very soon we go, but they say he's a big grant nomination. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 
Because right now it's obvious shatter in my no day of drama. Or you know, with a kind of uh, love in the display of hate. <laughs> <laughs> right now, in my day of love, yeah, they won't find love. <laughs> you know, they won't find love. If you won't find love, Seba, is, is it necessary to say if you display for social media for everybody to see, for the whole world to see, say, shut up, get this, get shut up, They won't find love. So right now, in my old day of uh, this guy, award, and things, uh, whatever, can they come with the concern? Me right now, what if you want to love? If you act reasonably, if you want love, if you want love, if you act reasonably, shut up. So right now, looking at Ghanaian artists, taking into consideration even the top artists in the country, like Kasumi Boy, Sakodi, Shadawali, get all these people that we can pitch off. Which of them can we see that they have their ability to win grants for Ghana or get grant information for a lot of things? You, see, you, you realize that of late, their, their OGs in the music industry, I don't know, but I think their attention is on something else. Their attention is on something else. If their attention is not on anything else, then it is obvious maybe their promotional strategies are not working the way it's working for them. Yes, maybe they have to change their, their promotional strategies. One thing I also identify is uh, most of them uh, feel big to be managed by uh, artist management. They feel too big. Yes. And if you feel too big to be managed by someone, then uh, it means you are doing everything by yourself and alone, and that cannot help you to uh, move further uh, to gain global recognition. I think that is one of the things that is worrying our artists in Ghana, our so called big artists. artists. You see, another thing is like this you see, music is all about investment. Music is all about investment. If you listen to most of them talk, you realize that they are more afraid to do that kind of investment. Most of them will tell you publicly that oh, they see no reason why they should use some pay some of the money to promote a song or an album whilst maybe they can use that same amount of money to buy houses and cars. Yes. Because music is all about it. So they don't want to get any management to handle their music material stores for them. And they are also not ready to make extra sacrifices in promoting their songs globally. That is one problem they have. Yes. Because if you are able to channel fans into their music, music. It's in the way that it's more of an investment. It's a show business. It's, it's all about investment. But to me, they, they are just not ready to do the investment. Because if they do the investment, believe me, it will take them far. They will get their recognition, they will get their awards, and then they will still make their money back. So if you are not ready to invest, how do you? Uh, how do you expect global recognition and awards? If there's another sense of complacency, they feel they have made it already in Ghana. Because in Ghana, everybody knows them. Look at them. Yes, everybody knows them. Because there's no way you mention any of these guys again. Nobody knows them in the country. Everybody knows them. So they feel that sense of complacency. They feel that, oh, yeah, after all, I'm known in my country. I'm, 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 I'm a king in my kingdom. <laughs> you get it. Uh -huh. So they are not striving for that global recognition. You get it. Because comparing them to the likes of Nigerian top artists, those guys are global artists because in as much as they are known, they are known globally. 
They have invested in the craft. Yes, they have craft. invested in their craft. And they are still doing more investment into the craft. I get it. They are not content where they are. They, all, they are always striving for the best. They want to be a better version of themselves so that the world at large can get to hear of them. That is the difference. So, investing into the craft, going out full out for you know a partnership and then a partnering with even promotional uh, companies, international promotional companies who are into, into music to even manage their musical stocks for them. It's not a payment for them because they know what they want. I get it. But if you should tell this thing, Ghanaian artists to do this thing, they will see no reason to do so. Why? Because <laughs> at the end of the day, everybody knows them in Ghana. Because they feel big. Yes. So the point yes. too is, you see, music, uh, all our musicians are, let's say, ambassadors of God. So if uh, you were a musician and we, uh, we recognize you as such, you must do otherwise to what? To sell Ghana beyond our borders. Because we are representing us. So we expect you to do more to do what? To take Ghana beyond our borders. Huh? We expect them to do more. <coughs> because, because of that, musicians don't pay. I, I, I don't even think, uh, think government tax uh, uh, creative art industry that much. And getting all this are uh, the reason why government don't tax the creative art industry that much. Because simply because we regard them as what an advanced to be selling Ghana to uh, the, world. the world, yes. Selling Ghana to the world. So they must also do otherwise to work to live up to that expectation. They must not be comfortable with uh, uh, where they are. Where they are. Exactly. Which I think their counterparts in Nigeria are doing well. <laughs> Uh, you see, talking about government, the government in question, I think maybe it's, it's high time the government also focus uh, a little attention on the, the creative art industry. I think it, it also help and also motivate uh, most of our artists in the country to do more. And as much as uh, personally, they are not uh, doing much themselves. Maybe if they should get uh, support from the government, I think it will be a motivation for them. I think it will be a motivation. So, governments should also try and focus attention on the creative arts industry. Yeah, it's very, very necessary. It's very, very necessary. So, the government should, should try and also do that. Okay, Mark. Uh, is it Mark Okriyoku, Deputy Minister of uh, Creative Arts and Culture? You've been in the industry for for God knows how long, and for God be so good, this current government have what have selected you or have made you uh, a Deputy Minister of uh, Creative Arts and Culture. But as of now, we haven't seen any single change in the industry. So what are you doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, yeah, come on. Yeah, there has not been any change in the industry. Since he took office, nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. Everything, everything is still as it was when he came into office. You see, I think he's, he's sleeping in his office. Yes, I think it's in the office. It is. Mark, if you are sleeping, wake up. Yeah, it needs to wake up. It needs to wake up. What's the promises? Entertainment, entertainment industry is a very big industry. Yes, like it's an industry that you know can generate a lot of funds for the country. Because entertainment can even lead to tourism. 
Yes. yes. You see, uh, when uh, the, the government focused on, uh, you see, last year they did a homecoming. The homecoming they did. You see how it was. A lot of people came into the country from the state, Nigerians were here, you know, the, the whole country was chopped. All the programs they organized during that, uh, Visit Ghana, Homecoming, all those programs were very, very lovely and then entertaining programs. You get it? So, if uh, the government focuses more attention on the industry, then this our man we are talking about. Man. Who is yes? Who is, who is in office? <laughs> who is who is in office? You know, they do more of these things. It will help. It will help. It will. It will also go a long way to help the, the tourism industry. A lot of people will see reasons to visit that. Yeah. To visit that. So the, the entertainment industry is a very big industry. They have to focus attention on the community that should be yeah. One thing they can also do is like yeah. the point the, the thing is yeah. uh, 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 like you said earlier, yeah. government is not serious yeah. about the creative art industry. Yes. Like if they are serious yeah. about this, this can generate a lot of revenue for them. Why am I saying so? It can be organizing concerts, eh? carry maybe about 10, 15 artists and go and stage concerts in the US, go and stage concerts in UK, go and stage, uh, stage concerts in, uh, uh, in Europe. Are you getting it? Yes. Every artist on the bill must be what? Must be a Ghanaian. Yes. Stage those big, big concerts. You see the number of them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no. Because with that, the government is subsidizing all those things. Exactly. Yeah. So it's not going to be as it's not going to be as if it is an individual. No. Yeah. Yeah. The fund is not coming from an individual pocket. No. No. Whereby the pressure will be felt. Yeah. Yeah. So the government will subsidize and do all those things. It will be. Good. So that's what I'm saying. That the government, the government have to focus attention on the creative part of well. It will help. Mark. <laughs> Mark okay. You have been you have been a very disappointing deputy yeah, yeah, minister, yes. Yes. Has been a disappointment. Disappointment yeah. to the creative art industry. Yeah. Honestly speaking. In the history of Ghana, there's nobody from the creative art industry who became or who yeah, who became a minister. I have no idea, but we will know you as what uh, a personality from the creative art industry. But as at as now, we don't know any, we can't uh, uh, pinpoint a, a, a single uh, uh, achievement from your what your office. This is a very big disappointment to the government and to what. And to the uh, uh, creative art industry. industry. Yes. Okay, let's move on to uh, this topic. And uh, let's go back. Uh, last week we did about the uh, <laughs> Bank of Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> we are revisiting that topic. Uh, we are revisiting that topic. Um, and yes, the Bank, uh, the Bank of Ghana governor uh, responded to the people who. Uh, did a demonstration? Yes. The response was just like this now. Very abusive. Yes. Irresponsible. Response. I was I wasn't expecting that that kind of response. I say irresponsible. Yes. Response. Ah, you know, the 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 man has he has he has the guts. To, to come out boldly with such a response. Like, it's, it's, it's such a disrespect to parents. Honestly, it's a disrespect. Because this this isn't, it's not as if it was uh, an entity who demonstrated. These are Ghanaians who were demonstrating as a result of their grievances 
consent citizens. Are you getting it? So that, that response is a disrespect to Ghanaians. Honestly, it's a disrespect. <laughs> but the question is, what is the government or let's say the president saying or doing about it? What is the president doing about it? Because these are people who took to the streets, to the North streets, peaceful, peaceful demonstrations. Yes, peaceful demonstration to you know express their grievances and make their grievances known to the government of the day. Are you getting it? And then at the end of the day, you came out with a response and you came out with such a response. So so disrespectful response. Yeah, the, the man himself is, is he doesn't respect himself. So uh, he, he, he doesn't respect even, himself. Even with the kind of words he was using, the kind of words he was using to, to address oh, um, it's, it's, it's so so disrespectful. So yes. And till now the government or even the president hasn't said anything concerning that. That is so bad. That is so bad. You see, this this party in general, I don't know, but there is something about the party. <laughs> there is something about this this party whereby almost all the party members, most of them are stubborn. Almost all the party members are stubborn. Because at the end of the day, at least say something that you know calm the hearts of them. Yes. Say something that will calm their nerves. Not what he came out saying. That was so bad. And he made it clear and publicly that he will not resign. The, one of the main reasons for the demonstration, he came to say that he is not going to resign his office. But the point is, where his response to the uh, demonstrators, what is more arrogant and hooligan? More arrogant and hooligan than his poster during the press conference. As sensible as he is, or as he claimed to be, the PhD, with all his PhDs, if it were to be you, if it were to be you, that power. Had a shame, total shame, but uh, as <coughs> hooligan, uh, uh, as hooligan or irresponsible as he himself uh, <coughs> describing others, mm -hmm. he has no shame, sense of purpose, uh, sense of responsibility to resign. Look, you taking two hundred fifty million dollars. To go and build uh, an edifice which will not benefit the Kenya citizens in any way. Look, just recently, uh, caterers who cook food for uh, free SHS went on demonstration. They have to uh, agitate vehemently before government will pay part of uh, uh, the money they owe for them. Yeah, can you imagine? They owe them. Can you imagine? And the funny aspect of it all is that they were also owing the banks. The banks were chasing them. <laughs> and you have the guts to carry that amount of money to go and build uh, an infrastructure that's uh, more needed. Yes. You see? An infrastructure that is not needed, that will not benefit yes. And when people are demonstrating or talking about it, we call them hooligans. Notwithstanding that, just rec uh, 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 recently, you go to hospitals, they will tell you no bed. <laughs> huh? No, yes, no bed. So many, the government needs money to do what? To uh, buy whatever uh, 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 is needed for the hospitals. Thank you for joining us today. And I believe we have 
entertained and edu uh, and educated you in our own small way. Don't forget to what? subscribe, press the notification button, and do what? Keep sharing the video. Very necessary. Like and share it. Somebody needs to watch this. I get it. Depression is real. So join us each and every now and then on this lovely channel. Mm. Fun Fills channel. And TV. Yeah. Ensure that TV. And TV for sure. <laughs> yes. And so we'll see you some other time. <laughs> so join us. Yes. Thank you for watching. <laughs>